Once upon a time, nearly 25,000 to 32,000 years ago, the vast and open plains of Hortobagi began to take shape. This transformation started in the late Pleistocene and early Holocene periods, when the Sajo and Hernad rivers, meandering down from the Carpathian Mountains, carried with them large quantities of floodplain sediments. These sediments, rich and varied, laid the foundation of what we now know as the ancient Solonets, or sodic soil, of Hortobagi. The story of this soil is a tale of nature's alchemy. Over time, the Solonet sodic soil underwent a remarkable transformation. It was not just the sedimentation that was at play, but also a unique process where various salts surfaced after the dissolution of carbonates and silicates. This process was intricately linked to the cyclic inundation of the area, creating a landscape that was both shaped by water and the lack thereof. In the days before the regulation of the Tizza River in 1846, and even more so before regional water management initiatives took hold in 1940, the Tizza River played a pivotal role in this natural drama. Annually, it would flood the flats of the western basin of Hortobagi with nutrient-rich rainwater originating from the Carpathians. In a similar vein, the eastern basin received its lifeblood from the Kardaks River, bringing in rainwater from the Hajduhat region. This regular flooding was essential in shaping the unique characteristics of the soil and the landscape. Before the landscape was significantly altered by human activities, natural grazing was a common sight in these parts. However, as humans started to settle and cultivate the land, they brought with them traditional farming methods. These practices, combined with the natural formation of the land, gave birth to the iconic Pusta landscape, a vast, almost treeless steppe that has become synonymous with Hortobagi. In 1993, the Hortobagi Nature Conservation Association was founded with a noble goal, to improve the condition of the degraded sodic habitats of Hortobagi. This was not just about preserving the land, but also about providing a safe haven for endangered bird species. Over its 30-year history, the organization has made significant strides, transforming hundreds of hectares of sodic marsh habitats, shallow wetlands, and even man-damaged salt marsh lakes. Despite these efforts, the land of Hortobagi continues to face significant environmental challenges. The primary issue plaguing the area is a considerable water deficit in the sodic wetlands. This problem is compounded by ongoing drainage, with 13 kilometers of drainage canals still in use on the sodic wetlands and another four kilometers in catchment areas. Furthermore, even though there's potential for collecting a sufficient amount of rainwater, especially in the autumn winter season, the natural storage capacity of the landscape remains underutilized. This issue is exacerbated by the existing, partly canalized watercourses that fail to fill all the dry depressions, leaving certain areas perpetually thirsty.
The human footprint has also led to the fragmentation of the sodic wetland system. An array of 28 artificial barriers, including the aforementioned channels, has disrupted the natural flow of water. These barriers, ranging from embankments and deep canals to roads and agricultural lands, have fragmented this once cohesive ecosystem. This fragmentation, coupled with low water flow, means that surplus water can't reach all parts of the wetlands, leaving some areas dry or with shallow water levels. Complicating matters further is the presence of high transpiration vegetation, including invasive non-native and problematic native trees and bushes, which consume significantly more water than the native plant communities of the sodic habitats. The current vegetation cover in Hortobagi is markedly different from its predecessors. These plants, with their higher water consumption, contribute significantly to the sedimentation of soda pans, reducing the water storing capacity of these areas. This sedimentation, coupled with the quick absorption of water by the loose soil of the pans, prevents the formation of a solid sealing layer. This phenomenon is further aggravated by erosion in parts of the catchment area that lack vegetation, leading to an increased rate of sedimentation and a decreased capacity to store water. These environmental issues have had profound effects on the wildlife and habitats of Hortobagi. In particular, the sodic wetlands and their characteristic wildlife have suffered. There has been a noticeable decrease in the number of priority water birds, attributed to the disappearance of species such as the Kentish plover and the red-necked greba. In addition, there's been a dramatic decline in the populations of both breeding and staging birds. Surveys carried out by the Hortobagi Nature Conservation Association in 2020 and 2021 paint a bleak picture. In the physical bed of the 15 water bodies, spanning 1,214 hectares, 33% of the wetland habitat mosaics have been transformed into dry habitats. Moreover, only 16% were found to be in the form of open water or dried out mudflat associations. These changes have also had socio-economic implications. The general drying process has led to a decreased amount of grazable grass yield, which in turn has increased the winter fodder demand for livestock grazing in the area. This has had a tangible impact on local farmers, who now face increased expenses. Additionally, the dwindling number of attractions for ecotourists, due to the elimination of the characteristic sodic wetland system, has led to a loss of ecotourism in the landscape mosaic. This has had a multiplied accumulated impact, resulting in a fall in the income of the inhabitants of Balmazujvaros. The situation is further compounded by the decreasing water residence time in the sodic wetlands and dropping groundwater levels. Water residence time may drop by 30, 40 days, and various water bodies have lost their interconnectedness, which prevents the interchange of populations. This, coupled with the habitats drying out simultaneously, and undergoing the same level of succession has led to the disappearance of priority non-avian species. One of the most alarming consequences of these changes is the increased atmospheric drought, a direct result of climate change. This not only impacts the environment, but also has adverse effects on society. It results in an increased amount of suspended dust in the air, which in turn leads to a rise in respiratory system diseases. The declining productivity of priority species is another concern. For most of the year, the water that serves as a food base in many of the water bodies is retained for only a brief period. This has led to a decline in the productivity of priority species, with birds being particularly affected. Fledglings, forced to leave their habitat prematurely due to early drying, struggle to develop habitat loyalty, a trait crucial for the formation of robust bird populations. Permanent drought has also led to the humification of dry plant communities and a drop in the groundwater table. These changes have triggered significant stepification and sedimentation processes in the sodic wetlands, resulting in a further decline in the overall conservation level of these habitats. However, the work is far from over. The negative impacts of climate change continue to pose new challenges to both nature and society. The protection of wildlife and humanity in Hortobagi will require the competent help of all actors in the near future. The story of Hortobagi's ancient sodic soil is a testament to the resilience of nature and the enduring spirit of those who strive to protect it.